What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the TRCBY show. And today we are doing Magnum Quest, and I think I'm gonna spend uh the, some Dragon Shard just to finish up the Polar Night Star. Even though we have three days left and 22 hours, I uh, I'm kind of itching just to get the reward. I don't know why, but I just don't. <laughs> I'm not sure if I want to wait because I just want it. I don't know. So you could absolutely wait and um, it won't cost you anything. If you are going to use the fast reward, it will cost you 25 initially. Then I think it bumps up to like 40 dragon shards afterwards. I don't know. Should I do it? Should I wait? Uh, let's just do it. <laughs> let's just do it. Boom. So why did we do that? Because now if we go back into our here we are all done now we're just going to click on this we received all of our dailies yes we did and we did 10 collection of the fast reward boom so that means we are all set and done we finished one two three four five six seven eight nine in ten eleven twelve so let's see like uh we did all of this pretty easily and there's still three days left of the event so let's go ahead and uh, collect some of our rewards, or all of it really. So one, a two, a three, a four, five, and six. And last but not least, this is a selection. So you get to select either from Arthur, Ares, uh, Faye, or um, Durla. So all of these guys are really good. Except for, I'm not really sure about Faye, though, to be honest with you. Ares is always good as well, too. But I am, again, I'm fairly new to the game, so I want to save the these type of selection um, heroes for maybe a little bit later on when I progress a little bit more into the game. So I am still working on this. I need, like, 17, 15 more for this one. And this is another selection that I want to get so this is a really good hero metal selection because it will always keep updating when they add new characters and new heroes in here so again like these are the type of things I want to keep because it's not static it's quite dynamic it will flow with the game from what I've seen just like with Citus and then they added on Lillian as well too so I think this is it's such a keeper so I definitely want to um, get at least a little bit more. Now that we have received a little bit more of our stuff, let's go ahead and do some more summoning. So we already did our initial summon for the day, but I just wanted to wrap it up and I just show you guys that we did complete the Fairhaven trial today. We also finished the, uh, the Polar Night Star event just now and let's just see what we get out of here so uh fingers crossed oh yeah here we go oh wow we got ourselves another sir yes sir that looks pretty good okay i like that and that is uh one of these guys the hero type that is up here so these are what you call it the uh divinity and the abyss so we have now another sir so let's go ahead and check that out and see if we could uh, do something with that. So we're gonna go into our heroes. We're gonna go into our ascend, and let's go to Sir. Oh wow! I already had it at a star. If I got another one, then it could be two star, and then I would need, of course, additional copies and so forth. But that is pretty cool. So that's looking good. I'm getting stronger and stronger, and that's all we really want. We just want to keep on working at it. And, you know, build ourselves up slowly but surely. So it doesn't have to be, you know, right off the gate and stuff like that. Like right here I have, um, I always want to call him like Merlin. But uh, he is Winden. But uh, he's at four. So I just need another three star food uh, for them. And then I could just go ahead and level that up. This right here, Sin, uh, Sin, Sinian is pretty good it's a nice little like energy battery here 
but I also I just need a lot of fortress. I have a lot of stuff lined up here. So once they are maybe one more for Winden, then I could like get him up. I guess uh, past like five or something like that. Same thing with Arthur. I think I need. No, I, I need more. But like uh, Winden, I could definitely like um eventually. I I've seen. I don't know. I, I just seem to be getting fairly lucky with Winden. So I do want to bump him up a little bit more. Ares, not too bad. I still need to bump him up. There you go. Look at that. Got another Ascension. Nice. Anything else over here? You know what? A lot of people are saying that my well, guy is pretty good. But I've just been using her as food, to be honest with you. I haven't really worked on her like at all, as you could see. I've just been feeding her off. So, hey, nice. Do another one. Do another one. So, I am very careful with my auto send. I don't want to do, like, auto send right off the bat. Let's just do that. Screw it. It'll just be a waste. But you know what? Let me get another one of these. And there you go. So, now we have one food, two food, three food, four food. And I could do something with her. Bump her up if I wanted to. But these are just one, two, three. Oh, man. Okay, we could do that. And um, that is it for now, I believe. But yeah, so going back to um, this again, we are doing pretty good. We're about to break like the 176 mark. I just need a little bit more materials. And that is uh, this stuff right here, the burls. Burlies? Bear, I don't know, whatever, sorry. But uh, I just need a little bit more of that because once I do get it, then I could bump up um, another character. It doesn't matter which character you have, but just as long as uh, you have uh, enough star characters to bump them up past a certain level. So I just need to bump her up past 176. And then from there, I think the next one will be like the 2 200, 201. Uh, breaker point and such, but um, we are slowly getting stronger We will eventually get there, but uh, right now I am still stuck at 15 16 I think I just need to play around with that a little bit more See what happens, but uh, that is it for now I hope everybody's doing well staying safe and healthy and uh, get to it You have three more days if I'm able to do the polar night star being a free-to-play player along with fairly new to the game they have a three day grace period, I suppose, if you missed a day and whatnot. You could still finish this event by uh, the weekend. So uh, you still have time. Make sure you go out there and get it. And uh, it's fairly easy. Fairhaven, as you guys know, we are pretty good. So let's just check the leaderboard real quick. Where are we? We are still number two. That is awesome. All right, awesome. Anyways, I hope everything is well. And, uh, yeah, that's it for now. So, well, uh, peace. All right, just uh, a quickie on this because I think some of you guys were asking, how do we get two victories with ten agility heroes or more? You get it through the main quest, dungeon, or trial. But what does that mean, right? So, how do you use it? So, agility. You could use trial. You go, I did the trial already, so I can't really show you guys what that is but let's just say I went into the main story let's just say I wasn't stuck here and uh, we're gonna add agility characters like what are agility characters how do you know like um, if you go to, to filter these are your agility characters so that would be like this 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 these like these are your agility characters so they're strength agility intelligence so you have to use and win using agility characters 10 of them so you just need to uh do that win and uh if you are fortunate enough where you didn't max out your dungeon you could uh and you're at a very early age in the dungeon or a very early stage in the dungeon you could blow through those fairly quickly i believe i did it with the dungeon so um yeah because i was stuck in the main one a lot but those are your agility heroes you have to use them in that formation and you have to do it multiple times you can't just do um two victories and you have like one or two agility characters in that uh battle you need to 
win more. That's essentially it. So you just have to win more battles and just keep doing it with those agility characters. So use your agility characters. Fen is like my go-to person for DPS. Let's just say I only use Fen. I would need to do it like 10 times for that quest. I believe that's what it is. So if you go back to here, the pull of night, it's uh, this agility right here. Get two victories with 10 agility heroes. So I did it. So I, I'm guessing you guys could do that as well too. So I think the, the I don't know, the quest wording, it's a little maybe misleading. Get two victories with 10 agility heroes or more. Main quest, dungeon, and trials. Get two victories with 10 agility heroes. That is a bizarre wording for sure. So, unless, if you go to here, wait a minute, whoa, time out for Twix here. Let's go back over here. So, get two victories with 10 agility heroes or more, main quest, dungeons, and trial. So that seems to be the only place that you could do this. So, the main quest, the dungeon, and the trial get two victories with 10 agility heroes. So you have to use maybe 10 different type of agility heroes, perhaps. I don't recall that. So if I, I don't even think I've used 10. I only have like one, two, three, four, like maybe five, six, seven, eight, nine <laughs> that I would even use. So I'm thinking you could use repeat agility heroes for any one of those victories. So maybe you have to do two victories with X amount of heroes. I don't know. Just keep using your agility heroes, man. Like, uh, you'll eventually get it. See what happens. So just uh, keep working at it. Keep grinding at it. Dungeon, trials, or main story. So I was able to do it. So I'm hoping that's what it was. I don't... I didn't really recall what I did for that one, but... The wording on it is really weird for sure, but I don't know. I'm not sure if that helped or confused more people, but um, that's, uh, that's what I'm guessing that 10 agility to victory thing is. But uh, yeah, that's it. Okay, <laughs> give it a try.